President Biden has been a champion for all the rights and freedoms that my father and uncle stood for. That's why nearly every single grandchild of Joe and Rose Kennedy supports Joe Biden. I have a very different view of America, one of hope and optimism like I hope all of you do. Optimism that Bobby Kennedy embodies. You got to fight him, bro. You got to fight him, bro. That's that. That's the only thing left to do. He took your family. It's been a rough couple days for RFK Jr. Now, Rita Palma was fired, clearly for the stupidity of admitting the scheme publicly, because we all know she told you what it was when you hired her, but that was, that was a nice try. That would be like suing Donald Trump after you decided to go into business with Donald Trump. Check out the link in the description. Now, RFK's own family just kneecapped him in front of everybody, and I mean everybody. Four more years, four more years, four more years. Four more years. President Biden has been a champion for all the rights and freedoms that my father and uncle stood for. That's why nearly every single grandchild of Joe and Rose Kennedy supports Joe Biden. That's right. That's right, the Kennedy family endorses Joe Biden for president. When Daddy announced his bid for the presidency in 1968, he talked about the perilous course our country would take under the wrong leadership. And he said, I feel obliged to do all that I can. I cannot stand aside. We are here because we feel obliged to do all that we can. We cannot stand aside. In this election, no American can stand aside. That was Kerry Kennedy who was speaking for the family. And you must be thinking, oh, well, you know, distant relatives can get a little bit crazy. That doesn't necessarily represent the whole group. That's his sister. That is his sister, his own sister. And by the way, she mentioned every single grandchild. Do you know how hard it is to get a consensus on every single grandchild? Like, do you know how bad it has to be for your campaign, for your sister to get up there and tell everybody not to vote for you and every single one of your cousins agrees with her? And look how many people they got to show up. What family can get that many people to show up for anything. We don't even get that many people to show up for a funeral, but that many people showed up to say, don't vote for you. He posed with the whole family. They had a whole impromptu family reunion with Joe Biden. I mean, the only thing you could feel good about RFK is, I mean, at least they didn't let him talk. Your family, the Kennedy family, has endured such violence, denying January 6th and whitewashing what happens is absolutely outrageous. I have a very different view of America, one of hope and optimism, like I hope all of you do. Optimism that Bobby Kennedy embodied. You got to fight him, bro. You got to fight him, bro. That's, that, that's the only thing left to do. He took your family and your name. Biden talking about embodying the Kennedy legacy you literally are a Kennedy. This is bad. This is, this is, this is bad. Well, I mean, at least nobody else said anything. Because Mr. President, candidly, why I'm here doesn't have to do with any of those things that you have done. It's what we know that you will do over the course of the next few <laughs> By the way, that was Joe Kennedy III, former congressman from Massachusetts. You might remember his State of the Union response where he had the, the stuff. A government that struggles to keep itself open. Russia, knee deep in our democracy. An all out war 
on environmental protection? That was smart to go wide with the shot, you know, just in case. But RFK Jr., you know, these kids be crazy. You know, just a whole new generation. They have different ideas. I mean, it's, it's not like your own people. Yeah, I know. We cannot do anything that in any way strips even one vote from President Biden. Mm. And a guy, you put the name Kennedy on the ballot and Democrats are gonna feel torn. And we are trying to make them understand that this is an issue that they do not have to feel torn about. Mm. That the entire Kennedy family, every single one of us, in every family, have all supported President Biden. Would I've you, never heard of that before in my family. Would you encourage your brother to drop out? Of course. Yeah. Sure. Okay. Sure. Of course I would. That is his brother. By the way, that is his brother. You got his sister going up in front of everybody, and that is his brother. And he was so desperate to get this message out to say, don't vote for you. He came down there in crutches. He came down there in crutches to say, don't vote for you. When my uncle was on crutches, he wouldn't even go to the mailbox. He did a whole meet and greet today to say, don't vote for you. That is the state of the RFK Jr. campaign. Now, I know we've all had disagreements with friends in public. We've all had disagreements with family in public. But this is a family that called the public to see the disagreement. They called the public to say he is cut off. I don't know if you can even come to the family reunion at this point. I, like, I really don't. Like, they might have a picture of you behind security with a line through it like they do to shoplifters in the grocery store. There's disagreeing in public, and there's getting blown up in public in front of everybody. You put the name Kennedy on the ballot, and Democrats are going to feel torn. And we are trying to make them understand that this is an issue that they do not have to feel torn about. Then he called you out on using the name. He called you out on misusing the name, and that is your name. And then they just gave it to Joe Biden. Now, now there is there is one bright side, RFK Jr. I'm, I'm looking far and wide. There's one bright side. Um, at least they didn't go to the national media. Well, I think, you know, nobody um, competes with President Biden when it comes to carrying on the legacies of John Kennedy and Robert Kennedy and Ted Kennedy. You got to move away, bro. You got to move away. Start a new life. Is there like a, a like a Uber or OnlyFans for family? Like asking for RFK Jr. Is there an app that he can get to deliver him a new family? Because because you can't you can't go to no more Kennedy functions. I like I don't know how you do it without throwing hands and feet. I mean. You, you just, you just can't. Mm -hmm.